Thank you very much for subscribing to this channel. The button is right there just in case you haven't. Thank you very much for sharing this content. Thank you very much for commenting. I love you right back in the same currency. Now it's day two on the 14 day lockdown. Among the things that the president was talking about during his address uh, was that the people that earn hand to mouth, the people that earn daily and are not going to be able uh, to earn during the 14 days are going to be given some food, uh, foodstuffs to take them through the 14 days. Here is a list of my people that should be uh, taken into consideration for this one. If you feel that I've left out some, there's a comment section. You can leave your comment and you never know the government could be watching this and pick up on it. And someone might just get some, themselves some food during the 14 days of lockdown. One is the taxi drivers. Now this one is a little bit confusing. There's taxi drivers and taxi owners. I don't think the owners should be uh, benefiting from this one. I think their drivers are the ones who benefit from these ones. Those guys are the ones who go out every day and they get uh, you know, their money at the end of the day after driving the taxi. So I think these ones should be benefiting from this one and I think they should be given some food to take them through the 14 days. The other group of people that I think should be given food during the 14 days are the guys who ride the border borders and tuk-tuks and the border bicycles there's three groups here the guys who do the border borders the the motorbikes the guys who do the tuk-tuks they transport people and the guys who do the border bicycles the bicycles yes i think that's a group of people that need to be given uh, some money uh, you know at, at the end of the day to take them through the 14 days i know that most of them have savings corporations but i don't think right now that those will be able to uh, you know help them go through the 14 days so i think those people need some food to take them through the 14 day construction sites supermarkets and the like the things that fall in that category are going to be open only if they can afford to have their workers sleep at the premises so what if what if those construction sites cannot afford their laborers to sleep at their workplaces. I think that these are groups of people that earn daily and therefore need some consideration in terms of being given food during the 14 days of lockdown. It's the second day and I'm wondering how these guys are going to live through uh, the 10th day of lockdown. The president during his speech said that the guys who are selling foodstuffs should remain open but the guys who are in markets and are not selling foodstuffs should close so i think those guys need and have to be helped in terms of uh, being given some food during these 14 days because they will have no place to get some money for them and their family so i think that group of people also needs to be taken into consideration while giving out food during these 14 days the other group of people that i think need to benefit from this one are the guys at the barbers the guys who work in the salons and the barber shops i think this gun these guys earn a daily income and since their businesses have been closed i think they deserve to be given some food the next 12 days is not going to be easy for a group of people and my prayer to you is that i hope that god provides for you and that you come out of these 14 days safe and sound thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and thank you very much for loving my videos i love you love you love you right back in the same currency